Hello, this is Jenny. In this video, we're going to dive deeper into the newest Daemon Ultima system and followed by answering some of the common questions of Ultima brackets. When switching to a new bracket system, I think the first question you will ask is, why? Why do we need Daemon Ultima? Well, before answering this question, we need to go back to history first. In the past decade, we've been using the traditional twin metal bracket. And the main disadvantage of the twin metal bracket is that there is a lot of friction between the bracket and the wire, since the wire will lecture tie or tied with power chain. So Dr. Damon wanted to invent a bracket that could decrease the friction between the wire and the bracket. So in 1996, Dr. Damon invented the self-ligating brackets, which increases the freedom of the wire since the wire is no longer being tied with the bracket. And this play inside of the slot of the bracket allow the wire to fully express, which make tooth alignment and arch expansion more effective. However, having play in the finishing stage means that we have less control over tooth position, and it leads to more wire bending in the finishing stage. So what Dr. Damon wanted to do with the newest Ultima system is to keep the play in the early stage and to improve the tooth control in the finishing stage so that we don't need a lot of wire bending. So the question now is how? How to give more control in the finishing stage? So in these two videos, we can see that when changing to a rectangular wire, the play in the Damon Q bracket give less control. On the contrary, the new design in the Ultima system decrease the play, which give more control over ideal tooth position. While well, you might think, hey, 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 Jenny, you stopped the second video, right? Well, no, pay close attention to it. Those two videos were both play. So which design were actually made in Ultima? Well, we need to go back to the Damon Q bracket first. When we zoom out the slot and put in our first 14 coponitite wire in a crowded dentition, we need to deflect the wire to get into the slot. And the wire will want it to go back to its original shape. So we are starting to have initial tooth alignment. And after the round wire, we change it to the rectangular wire. However, there's a lot of horizontal play between the slot and the wire, which give less control over rotation and in-out movement. So in Damon Ultima, we change the shape from rectangular to the round-sided rectangular wire. So the wire can fit the slot horizontally. And in this way, we can have better control in rotation and in-out movement. Well, how about the angulation and torque control? Since a wire could not fit the slot vertically, in Damon Q, we have a lot of vertical play. So for example, when we are doing the major mechanic, such as plastic elastic, because the wire could not fit the slot vertically, so the upper anterior teeth are prone to retrocline and lose torque. So how do we eliminate this vertical play? Well, the way Dr. Damon take out this vertical play is simply by adjusting the orientation of the slot until it contacts the vertical wall. So this is the invention of the parallelogram slot. Wow, genius. So with this parallelogram slot, in Damon Ultima system, when we change it to 18 by 275 coponitite wire, the wire would need it to be deflected to fit into the parallelogram slot. And as the wire contact the vertical wall, the deflection of the wire would twist the bracket and then you will express the torque. To sum up, there are two highlight designs in Damon Ultima system which give us more control over tooth position and less wire bending in the finishing stage. 
as we combine these two features in 18 by 275 coconitite wire, the round-sided rectangular wire gives us horizontal contact point, which gives us control in first order, the rotation and in now control. And the parallelogram start gives us the vertical contact point, which is in charge of the second order and third order, which is angulation and torque control. And when we combine these two features, we can have early three-dimensional control. And we can protect the ideal tooth position till the end of the treatment. Well, Jenny, why does it mean by protect? Well, good question. It's a very interesting concept of protect in Ultima system and will be discussed in the part two. So see you in part two. Thank you.